just give a quick overview of CI keys. Um, this isn't quite ready yet. I'm waiting for these guys to flip a switch on one more thing, but uh, probably next week or within a day or so, it'll be ready. Um, we're trying a new approach to this uh, tool, which should make it all super canned for you guys. So in the past, let me step back. So um, I think we talked about this last time, or was it the other section? I'm, I'm getting old and I can't remember. So who has their own web page right now? Right. Who has a Facebook account? Okay, who has, I don't know, Twitter or Instagram? Okay, so um, when, when a possible employer, so, so, you get, so next year, a year from now, whatever it is, you guys are gonna graduate, you're gonna be looking for jobs, and you're gonna say, hey, I wanna go work for this agency or this company or whatever it is. And they're gonna say, okay, cool, uh-huh, all right. Well, we'll get your resume, and that, that, that's great and all that. And then who's this person? And almost everybody will Google you, right? I mean, that's just the reality of the world we're in. So if, if there is not um, something else that's more low-hanging fruit, right? It's going to go to probably your Facebook or your, your Instagram or some comment you made on something at a bar one Saturday night or something like that, right? That's what we don't want to have, have happen. We want you guys to control the narrative you guys need to control your digital identity. And that's a, that's a long-term endeavor, but this is the first step towards that. So CI Keys is essentially a, web, uh, a space for you where you can create your own web page. And that's it. And I'm gonna require you guys to create this and maintain it over the course of your capstone. After capstone, if you think this sucks and you don't like this and it's too weird and whatever, you never have to touch it again. But there's also the option that if you do find this valuable or, or useful, um, you can continue it. Um, this, since this is still, we're in this kind of extended trial period, essentially, this technology, nobody's accounts have been, have been turned off. But in theory, just like everything else, once you graduate, if you're not, not joining the Alumni Association and all this and that, eventually you know, your email turns off and this and that. Um, so this offers you the ability to um, continue it even after after we're, uh, we're done with your formal relationship with CSUCI. And we can talk more about that later. Yeah, Jayla. Would this be better than a LinkedIn page? So I think you should have a LinkedIn page and this. So I, I, think, I think you should, I'm not saying you should delete your Facebook and all this and that, right? So I would use those. I, th I think LinkedIn is a, is a better thing than Facebook for career stuff. It's more professional and it, uh, it's just, yeah, it's just more professional and stuff. Um, so this would be an augmenter of that and whatever the other things are. The key thing is with LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter or whatever the heck it is, um, I wouldn't say those folks are necessarily nefarious, but they have their own reasons for giving you this platform. And they're trying to monetize you, right? They're trying to monetize your friends, your networks, your activities. And you know that, that might be a fine thing in that context. Um, I would suggest that when you guys are putting your digital identity out to the world for, for professionals, potential employers, et cetera, you should dictate what goes on. You should decide if you think it's appropriate for an ad to pop up as someone's trying to read your resume or, or whatever, right? Um, and you should have full control over who sees something. Maybe you want to have something that's a little more locked down, right? You guys should dictate that fully, not choose from the two or three options that some company decides to give you, I think. And so with this uh, technology, you guys will have um, the ability to do that, right? Uh, we first tried it like very briefly two years ago, and then we tried it last year and still figuring out how to do it. And um, so I'm still learning how to teach you guys how to use this tool. But um, so we, we tried the third iteration this year. <laughs> so, so it's always good. You guys always get better. But I'm trying to make it easier for you. Um, uh, as you'll see when we start playing with this, this tool is essentially just a space, a blank canvas. You can actually do whatever the heck you want. You can have a database on it. You could have cloud-based storage. You could do all kinds of crazy stuff. But what we're gonna do in our class is use it to host WordPress, which is the, the 
programming world that about 70 odd percent of the world's blogs live on. So you guys have a blog. And, and how we did this in years past, is I said, okay, hey, do this, and you guys pick your own template and whatever. And, and the problem is, it's, uh, it's like when I try to find a mechanic when I lived in LA. No possible way can you find a mechanic in LA. There's so many thousands of mechanics. You have no idea, like, what? I don't know. And I had a van, right? Nobody had a van, so I, didn't, I couldn't talk to anybody. And, and so, so um, it's wonderful that we, when we have a, a gazillion million choices, but then one of the downsides of having a gazillion million choices is that you have a gazillion million choices. And how do you pick which one? So what we're going to do now is, so I've set up this thing that they'll flick the switch on soon, that it's all just standard. So when you guys go to install it in a day or two or start it up, you can just click, you know, boinkity boink, and it'll, it'll install this whole template. And I want you guys to start with that. After a few weeks, once you get comfortable, if you want to have a different look to your, to your uh, uh, digital identity, that's totally cool. But it, it was too hard for me to just tell you guys, hey, everybody, pick whatever you want. And then it, it gets challenging. So real quickly, I just wanted to, um, to note, again, you're not going to do this yet, but when I send you guys an email after it's, it's notified. So this is CI Keys. Now, this will eventually live within our CI world. So just you go to My CI and, and it would say, you know, like CI Learn and CI Records and all that stuff. This is not there yet because we're using an external company to do this stuff. It authenticates using our MyCI logon, but it's not within the walls of CSUCI. So because of that, you do not get to it the way you get to all the other campus hosted tools. Instead, you're gonna just type in cikeys.com and you're gonna get to this thing. And then, what you, and then if you guys haven't done it yet, don't do this until I send you the how-to. But if you guys haven't made it, you're gonna hit get started and the very first time you do, need to do a couple, uh, a couple extra steps. I mentioned to you guys before that you need to think of what you want your name to be, the, the, the name of your site. Because this is a thing that once you name it now, you can't ever change it. So that's why I want you guys to think about it. It could be your last name, it could be your first last name, it could be your first dot last name, it could be ESRM in your last name. It, it's whatever you guys would like it to be. And this again will be the, the way that uh, 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 you know, future employers would ever see your website. So I wouldn't have you know, um, you know, nuclear puppy 71 or something like that, right? You wanna have it a professional, uh, professional thing. So, so that's why I want you guys to think about that beforehand because it's, it's, we're just getting started and you maybe don't know what we're doing yet, but then somebody asks you a name. And, and so if you haven't done that, uh, you should uh, think about that today so that when it's time to get going, you're good. Once you've done that first get started, from here on in, you would log into CI Keys. Okay, so again, more on this later, but just to give you guys an overview, what I've done is I've created a canned site for everyone. And you guys are gonna essentially install a copy of this onto your particular named domain. And then after it's installed, then you can go in and start playing around with it. So you already have the template in there, you already have the, the gross structure of the site. You are of course welcome to add additional stuff. You will absolutely modify stuff, but you could add on a whole bunch of stuff, whatever you'd like. But at a minimum, you guys are going to have these couple sections. You're going to have a page that is telling me about you. You're going to have a capstone uh, research, which is going to uh, page was going to summarize briefly your capstone research. I know that you're just starting now, and that's fine. So it might just be two or three sentences these, this first month or something, right? Don't know yet, but over time it's going to evolve. So don't freak out if if your site isn't totally polished and and you know knock your soft socks initially. Over the course of Capstone, you're gonna be working on it, modifying it, tweaking it. But we wanna get you guys started, because in my experience, if you guys don't start doing this early in the semester, you do not do it. And then it doesn't become useful, and then it becomes a burden, it becomes a pain in the butt. So, um, so about our research, and then you guys, have a, uh, you guys have a blog, and we'll talk about that, and then a resume. So this is where you're gonna have this up online. So again, this is your digital identity. And so when, an, when a, employer goes to look for you, this is a one-stop shop. You can link from here to your LinkedIn, to your whatever else, to other news stories or, or 
you know, whatever. And that's great. But you have to, I want you guys to, everybody have the same consistent core. And then once we get this up and running, again, not yet, week or two, depending on, on when the flip, switch gets flipped, then I'm going to require you guys to do a weekly blog post. Need not take a lot of time. An update, right? So that's going to include at least one multimedia item. Generally, that means a picture. Uh, and, and, you know, at least, you know, a paragraph. Once this is all set up, if you guys want, I can show you how to do it on your phone. So we have a mobile app. You can do this if you're away out in the field or something. You can do that. That's cool. You don't have to. Um, but the idea is not to be a burden, but rather to be an updating thing for me and for your fellow students. So that way I can check in every week. And, and there's some things I've done to your website so that it creates what's called an RSS feed. So a, a, a little ticker of updating when you guys do stuff. And so we'll have a class capstone website and it's going to pull all of your blog posts up. So I can go to this one site and just look and see, ah, oh, what are all the, what's everybody doing this week? And boom, 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 as opposed to me having to go in and click through, you know, 40, 40 different uh, uh, blog posts and uh, 40 different websites and stuff. So more about the details, but you guys should just get it up and running. But so I've, I've, I put some pictures in here. You guys can delete, obviously delete these pictures. So you're not me, but, but, uh, but write a little bit of text, whatever. It's very easy. If you guys have not used WordPress before, it's, it's very simple. So we have a lot of helper videos on both our CI Keys um, uh, landing page or, or link to from our CI Keys landing page, as well as there's all kinds of great stuff. Um, I'm hoping this everything being canned really, really helps take a lot of the confusion and stuff out of it, setting this up. Um, uh, so uh, everything should have at least one multimedia item. So uh, your research might be much more extensive, right? Initially, when you guys first put this up, it just might be a sentence or a couple sentences. But over the course of you know, many weeks, many months, it's going to evolve and have additional stuff. And you might actually have data on there. And that's great. This is the place where your, um, uh, you know, anybody who wants to know about your research, they can go to this one page and find out about it, right? So essentially, eventually, it's going to be your abstract, your abstract from your, your completed study. Um, you might want to have some additional methodology on there about how you did stuff. You might want to have some results. The idea is it's the one-stop shop where your, um, where the community can go and find out about your research, okay? The main difference between a blog post and a page in this world, a page is generally static. So like that about I just showed you, or like this. I, I suppose you could be updated every week. That's not bad, I guess, but, but the idea of the page, the page is more of a stable thing, right? Or, or maybe come Christmas time, once you guys have your project well underway, let's say, and you get, you get your capstone research thing set, maybe we're not gonna change it for a while, right? And that's cool. The blog is for updates, is for new insights, questions you're having, here's what I'm doing now, that kind of stuff. That is a more frequent, um, here's what's going on uh, endeavor. One thing we're not gonna talk about it yet, but one thing uh, that uh, I've put up here is a simple resume. You guys can choose to follow this. You could use something totally different. I do not require any specific format for resumes, but, but many times people are, just want something to go with. So uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have, when we start getting to it, you're gonna you know, have a Word document, a separate you know, a PDF printable thing, but you're also welcome to have uh, this on your, on your um, website. Again, great outreach tool. <clears throat> Um, in this case, I've actually typed the text directly into the web page. Some people choose to just have a link to their PDF, or sometimes people just want a, a more text-based summary. It's up to you guys, but there needs to be some type of formal, this is who I am, this is where I've been. Again, this is the thing that the employer is going to go hunt out and find you. And what we find is employers think this is totally awesome. They're massively impressed by you. Nobody does this. Right? So it's another way when you're going for that job interview or for, I don't know, grad school interviews or whatever it is, to stand out. 
right? Like, hey, I've thought about this. I've thought about how you might try to go find out about me, and here's the stuff I thought you might want to know. What year I graduated, what projects I worked on, that kind of stuff. And just like when we start talking about our posters and other things like that, the fact that you're thinking about what the audience needs is huge. And ma many times people don't think about that. And so this is, this is all, this is all um, that. And let's see, how do I, does this work? Okay. So this is the, this is the um, landing page for this thing. And I've just put in one uh, default blog post, this one. And then uh, this is the default blog post that comes up from WordPress. And you can delete all these. This is no problem. But um, this is kind of a nice uh, template. And a template is just, just the format of the, of the website. Nothing fancy. You can change it. We can, you can change the look. If you want it to be black background, you want it to be purple background, you want it to be a picture in the background, you can do whatever you want. Um, but again, that, that's after we first get it together. Um, in this case, what this is doing is this is scrolling through the first few blog posts, but because we don't have, you, you don't, we don't have a lot of blog posts up yet, it's just doing the first one or two. Um, so that's that. Okay, so you guys have all taken a quick glance at this, and uh, when the time comes in the next day or so, you'll be able to activate your site, and it'll look, it'll look just like this. And then you get, it's up to you guys to go in and start changing the text, et cetera. And, and uh, I guess I should um, just real quickly show you guys what this looks like, even though some of you might have seen it before. So page or post, either one. If we pick a page, I'm going to go to it, and I'm going to say, hey, I want to edit my about. Oops. And this is what it is. So it's not very complex. You don't have to do HTML coding. You don't have to have a computer science programming class, right? So this is an area you just type in, and you type. This is blah, 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 right? And, that, and, then, and then when I hit update or save or you know, whatever the term is, then that'll be saved. So what it looks like right here is essentially what you're going to see uh, later. Um, the only one caveat I'll give you guys is that um, do not embed videos here. We do have, you, don't, you do not have an unlimited amount of space. You have, you have a great amount of server space, but it's not unlimited. If you guys started making videos every week and uploading them, that would rapidly fill up your portion of memory on the server. So um, uh, what, we, what we say is you guys should post anything like that somewhere else and then link to it. So for example, YouTube. So all you need to do is grab that. So you, you can upload it to your multimedia site, SoundCloud, whatever. Um, and then uh, get it on that other hosted site. And then grab the link to, say, from YouTube. And you can just come right back. And anywhere in, that, in this text place, you can just go bang. And then it'll wait a second. And then it'll embed the video right there. So from your, and then we can do things like center it and do all the kind of fancy stuff. But um, the point is, it's, all, it's very easy to use. It, it does not, you know, it takes 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes playing around and figuring out. It's not something that's going to need to take you years and years and weeks and weeks and weeks and suck away from your other studying and your other stuff.